I'm Gwen Schoen, food writer at Sacramento Bee. In the kitchen today, we're cooking fresh halibut that was caught in the San Francisco Bay by Brand Little of the Little Fish Company. And once Brand catches the halibut, he takes it to a processing plant close to the wharf there in San Francisco. And then the, the fish is delivered to the fish market in Lincoln and where Brand's wife, Laura, runs the fish market counter. Once the fish comes off the boat, it has been either headed and gutted or just whole fish. And then it's filleted and processed and packaged and labeled and, and we receive it and sell it at the store. Hi, Laura. Hi. I'm looking for some halibut today. Okay. Did you want the halibut fillet or the cheek? What's the difference? The cheeks are actually the cheek of the halibut, the filet mignon. Mm -hmm. Are they they're small pieces? They're small, like round, um, best sauteed. I think I'll go with the other ones because I want to do them on the grill. Okay. We're going to cook the halibut on a plank, and you can buy planks at anywhere where they sell barbecue. Um, materials and it's important to use one that's made just for grilling because if you use one that's left over from a construction project it will be treated wood and you certainly don't want that in your recipe. So use a clean plank and it needs to soak for about an hour in water. You can also soak, soak it in something like wine but then you have to, a few more problems with it flaring up on the grill. So we're going to start by taking the halibut that we bought at the fish market and just give it a quick rinse under the water. Pat it dry with a paper towel. It's a nice big piece of halibut. And I'm going to brush one side of it with olive oil to keep it from sticking to the plank. And we'll put it oil side down on the plank. Now this is a really simple recipe. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on the fish and a little bit of pepper, fresh ground pepper. Then I'm going to brush it, the fish with an egg white, just a plain egg white, and then sprinkle some finely chopped almonds over the top and that'll make a nice little nut crust as the fish cooks. Then we're going to put it on the grill. And with fish, the important thing to remember is not to overcook it. And the, the rule of thumb is that you cook it for 15 minutes for every inch of thickness. And this is pretty thick, so we'll probably cook this for about 20 minutes. So we preheated the grill to so that it's really nice and hot. We've got the fish all ready to go on. So we're just going to place it directly on the grate and then turn the temperature down to low. Then cover the fish and let it cook for about 20 minutes. The important thing about cooking fish is that you don't want to overcook it because then it'll dry out. So if you're concerned about whether or not it's done, you can use an instant read thermometer. And when it's about 135 to 140 degrees, the fish is done. It's been about 20 minutes, so the fish should be about done. It looks like it's done. Let's take a temperature reading here. 135 degrees, it should be perfect. and the almonds are nicely browned. I think we're ready for dinner. Cooking the halibut on a cedar plank will give it a nice woody, smoky flavor, but you can also use other kinds of wood like cherry wood or maple and that'll give it another flavor as well. So just experiment and decide which one of the planks that you like best. And this halibut that we made today, we're going to be serving with a strawberry salsa. So now we've taken the halibut from the San Francisco Bay to the fish market and now to the dining table in Sacramento.